Hello guys, it's Chris. From relics of the past to bizarre animals, here are 14 crazy things found on the beach. Number 14. Animals In context, you might think it's strange for animals to wash up on a beach. After all, there are plenty of creatures underneath the waves that are hungry and looking for an easy meal. But there have been many interesting animals who have washed up on a beach that science can't exactly explain. One of the biggest ones, pun intended, are whales. Think about it, how does a whale, which can weigh anywhere from 8,000 to 300,000 pounds, just get washed up on a beach? Is the tide really that strong? Did they do it to themselves? Many scientists aren't exactly sure how this happens. Is it as simple as the current and tides grabbing them until they can't push them anymore? Or is there something else going on? Or how about squids? Squids have washed up on shores before, but they're not known to dwell in shallow waters most of the time. Was this just a case of one dying close to shore and washing up? From the deep sea to the shoreline and beach is a long way. The answer is out there and I'm sure that when you see a news story about a beached animal you'll think about how it got there. Plus many animals by the time they get to shore are practically unrecognizable. Number 13. NES Console As a Nintendo fanboy myself, I consider this a tragedy. I also consider it a big mystery. And how so? Well, if you can't tell, this is an original Nintendo Entertainment System. You know, the ones made back in 1983. So how did it end up washed up on a beach? And another question, who would throw a potentially perfectly good console with a game inside of it into the ocean? Look, there's a game in it, and someone just chucked it away, that blows my mind. Now I honestly can't say if the console worked before it was thrown into the ocean, but it probably doesn't work now. Someone clearly did not have enough respect for this particular console. I also wonder what happened to it after it was found in this condition. Number 12. Ambergris I know what you're thinking, what the heck is ambergris? Well, how would you react if I told you that this was actually the word for whale vomit? It's true, I swear, and trust me when I say that this is going to get a whole lot weirder. So why would anyone care that whale vomit has washed ashore? Well, because this very special vomit is incredibly valuable. I still swear I'm telling you the truth. Apparently, this substance is sought after in order to make perfume. And wait, it gets even weirder. So the person who found this was a dog walker. He somehow found out what it was and gave it to an auction house to sell. And the price it sold for? $16,253. Bet you wish your vomit was that valuable or useful, don't you? I know I do. Number 11. Waxy Objects you could argue that one of the craziest and most dangerous things to wash up on a beach is an object that we can't identify. And no, I don't mean like a life form, but rather an odd substance or mass that can't be explained at first look. After all, would you touch something that you didn't know anything about? And that's exactly what happened in France last July. Oh yeah, this is a recent affair. Across 37 miles of French beaches, yellow objects of unknown origin started arriving en masse, and no one was sure what was going on. They smelled and looked like paraffin wax, but how they got onto the beaches or why they were there in such numbers is still a mystery. Now just picture this for a second. You're in France, and you're going to the beach, and when you arrive, thousands of these yellow objects are there. That'd make me turn around, I don't know about you. And although the source is still under investigation, it's believed that these are a byproduct of grease coming out of a boat's exhaust, and the cleanup of these objects is happening. Number 10. Fossilized Leaf For people who like to collect things on a beach, it's hard to beat finding a fossil, especially one as pretty as a leaf. As you can see, this isn't a standard fossil either, as it's not in a rock, but the leaf itself was fossilized in such a way that you can see the inner skeleton of the leaf. It's actually a pretty cool visual. It also makes you wonder if there are more fossils like this out there on other beaches of the world. If you found one, leave a comment below. Number 9. Ice Chunks Ice is a natural part of the water cycle. If water gets too cold, it freezes. In certain waters, that freezing happens in a big way creating massive ice chunks that have been known to sink fishing vessels. But one thing that rarely happens, though, is ice chunks making it to the shoreline. 
That is, unless you're in Cape Cod, Massachusetts. For as you can see in the pictures here, not only are the ice chunks on the beach, they are way up on the beach. And if you look closely in the background, you'll see that the water is covered in these ice chunks as well. Just imagine watching one of these ice chunks being left on the beach. The picture shows that some of them are actually taller than a human being, and they weigh several tons depending on their size. And they're just sitting there. It's super odd for sure, and quite a sight. And speaking of ice sights, number eight, ice balls. From Massachusetts to Michigan, we head to a place where there are spheres of ice actually being thrown upon the shore by waves from the ocean. In Lake Michigan, the ice in the water can actually be rotated by the waves in such a way that they form spheres, and decent sized ones too. But in 2013, the ice balls got a lot bigger. How much bigger? Well, they actually were the size of basketballs and were said to weigh around 50 pounds. The people who are used to this phenomenon even noted that they had never gotten that big before. It makes you wonder what caused the size change and if that's going to be the last size change. It'd be fun if they got bigger. Number 7. Spacecraft Debris Here's another one that isn't too crazy in context, but once you dive into it, it's odd where it ends up. One of the reasons that NASA and other space organizations tend to launch their craft into space near bodies of water is because as the craft goes into the air, they don't maintain all that they've launched with. Many parts actually detach in order to ensure that the craft makes it into space. So ask yourself, would you rather these massive pieces of metal fall into a city or the ocean? Yeah, that's what I thought too. Still though, the fact that some of this debris, including the panel you see in the picture above, made it into the beach is pretty surprising. Although it could be explained by the positioning of where it was and where exactly it crashed into the ocean. Oh, and if you find such a piece of debris, contact NASA, they may want it back. Number six, an unexploded bomb. So that worst case scenario I talked about before with the wax things, that was truthful. But what's also truthful is that there have been cases of certain explosive objects washing ashore. These kids and their parents think that a boy covered with rocks has somehow washed ashore. Now that's fair given its look and how much the ocean has affected it. But no, it's a bomb and one that's still active. Naturally, once it was found out to be a bomb, it was properly taken care of. But still, you have to imagine the terror these people felt when they found out that they were so very close to a bomb. Number five, blue sailors. There's a lot of life in the ocean. And as I made clear with number 14, lots of these animals wash up on the beaches in one form or another. But here I'm singling out a very special kind of fish that goes through a semi-yearly ritual that ends up with them on the beach. Off the coast of California, there was a string of fishes known as by the wind sailors washing up on the beach dead. Many people had never seen this kind of fish before and with good reason. They actually love the open ocean, and it's only via storm winds that they make their way onto the beaches involuntarily, of course. And sadly, when this happens, thousands of these fish end up dying because they're stacked up and unable to get back to the open oceans. Number 4. P-38 Plane Whether it be through war, storms, mechanical failures, or something else entirely, planes sometimes end up in the water. But usually, it's pretty deep into the water so that you never see them again. But in Wales, the near perfectly intact remains of a P-38 Lightning aircraft was found. And talk about a find. This was a key part of the American Air Forces back in World War II. It was a fighter plane, so it could have gone down in a dogfight, or something else caused it to go down. It's impossible to tell with just the picture. However, it must have been a real thrill to find it. Number 3. Puppy I'll keep this short and sweet, because who finds a puppy on a beach? I mean, sure, people bring their dogs to the beach with them, but they're owned dogs, and this puppy wasn't. He just wandered the beach before he was brought home by the people who found him. Talk about a lucky dog. And some lucky people who now have a pet puppy. Number 2. Coffee Cans Here's one you need to see to believe. In India Atlantic, Florida, beachgoers found themselves looking at hundreds, if not thousands, of coffee cans. But not empty ones, far from it. These were vacuum-sealed coffee cans, strewn all over the beach. Here's the twist, though. The brand was Cafe Bustello, which is in New York. So how did all of these cans make their way to Florida? More than likely, there was a cargo ship and it somehow lost the cans it was carrying. 
but that's just speculation. However, if any of these beachgoers were coffee drinkers, it was their lucky day, especially if they like Latin espresso style coffee. Number 1. A Giant Lego Man There are no words. I mean, seriously, how do you even begin to describe this? First off, it's real. This is a giant Lego man that was found on a beach in Japan. Now, who's to say someone didn't just go off and make a giant Lego man for their collection? Still, though, there are many questions. Who made it? Why is it on a beach? How did it end up on a beach? Is this some sort of weird marketing ploy? And why does its shirt say no real than you are? So many questions. I fear I will never get the answers. Thanks for watching, guys. If you ever found anything strange on a beach, let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe, and I'll see you next time.